Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jigyasha Sinha, Consultant Pediatric Neurologist at Narayana Hospital, RN Tagore Hospital, Mukundpur, Kolkata. Today I will be talking to you about a very rare condition seen in children. It is called as MLC disease. The full form is megalencephalic leukoencephalopathy with subcortical cysts also known as Vandenap disease. This is basically a disease which is seen early on in children and the children may have developmental delay along with certain progressive deterioration of movement and balance. Along with that they may or may not have epilepsy. They also have large head the normal size of the head at a particular age which has to be noted they usually cross that level and have a larger one in this particular disease the main cause is because the white matter of the brain which is mainly responsible for the balance of the body gets affected and this is because of certain genetic uh, mutations this disease is very commonly seen in certain communities of the world. It is commonly seen in the Agarwal community. It is also commonly seen in the Jews and Turkish community. In India we see it apart from Agarwal community also in the fishermen of West Bengal, in the Yadav community of Uttar Pradesh and also certain other Muslim communities where there is inter-community marriages happening. They are mainly diagnosed with the help of clinical criteria and the MRI. The MRI brain can give us the exact clue to this disease. However, they are usually confirmed through a genetic testing which is done by a blood test. Once the genetic is confirmed, there are different types of genes involved and there could be a genotype or a genetic type where it may not be a progressive condition. Largely, they are progressive and they deteriorate over time. They may start with a movement or a balance problem but eventually become wheelchair bound. They may not survive beyond 20s except some who also survive in their 50s. Treatment is mainly based on therapy or rehabilitation along with certain supportive medications which help in maintaining balance and coordination. There is a lot of research going on on this particular disease to create awareness and also to formulate treatment strategies. Let's get together on this platform to collect all the disease affected people so that some support can be provided to them in, for, in terms of information and also in future if any treatment trials are going on. Thank you so much.